okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. robot disappeared on May 27th, and here it is August, and we're no near to the answer. Well, let me get this straight, Commander Zero. Four planets have reported that their top robots have just vanished into thin air. That's right, Steve. Vanished without trace. The governments of these planets are screaming for action. But we can't act if we have no clues. Yeah. Where could the robots go? And why? It beats me, Steve. Oh, hi, Matt. We're just talking about the missing robots. You got any theories? Really? Maybe we should ask Professor Al Himba. The robot expert? But why ask him? Well, it may be just a coincidence. But on his recent lecture tour, each one of the planets he visited lost their top robot. That sounds interesting. Well, he's due to arrive to lecture at Space City this evening. I think this calls for a plan of action, gentlemen. The warning device is ready, Steve. I'll just get it fixed to Robert's circuit. Steve, do you really think that Professor Himber will try to steal Robert? Well, look at it this way, Venus. We suspect him of taking those other four robots. And they were the best on each planet. Now, Robert is Earth's best robot, so he may try to steal him. I see. And Matt's device will give us a warning. But how does he do it? Well, that we don't know, Venus. But remember, He's a genius with robots. If any man could do it, he could. Himber's phone face iBot. A robotic revolution. Ask not what your robot can do for you, but what you can do for your robot. And in conclusion, I would like to say how much I admire the work of your very own Professor Matthew Matic. Indeed. I would go so far as to say that Professor Maddox's invention, known affectionately as Robert the Robot, is perhaps one of the finest mechanical creations of our modern world. Wait, what is this? 
<laughs> the fools. The Zodiac and Matic think I'm as primitive as they. An alarm system. Really, Professor Matic. You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Himber's spaceship has lifted off A-OK, -okay, Commander. Roger, Lieutenant. Well, Steve, uh, guess we can count out Professor Himber. Robert's OK. Yeah. I guess we're back where we started, without a lead on those missing robots. Let's get back to the control room. Well, Steve, guess we'd better return to our previous procedure. Lieutenant 90, alert the XL-1 crew. They're the next ship on patrol. But sending out our patrol ships to search for missing robots is getting us nowhere. Steve, there's a certain routine in these matters, and I'm following that routine. Prepare XL-1 for liftoff, Lieutenant. Roger, Commander. Launch area, Commander. XL-1 can, can proceed, proceed to launch, launch rail. rail. <laughs> One in launch position, Commander. Okay, Lieutenant. Robert. We must stop him. I'll use the remote controls on your desk, Commander. Sure, Professor. wrong. The controls are functioning, but Robert doesn't respond. Turn off the remote, Matt. Robert's blowing his top. He must be on a fixed control. But how? Now, it looks as though we were right about Professor Hember. He must have spotted your alarm system, Matt. Yeah, that must be it. He cut your system and fitted his own controls to take over the robot. Yeah, of course. When the controls don't start working and Il Hember is far into space. I think Robert's going to help us solve this mystery. Hey, hey, he's making for the launch rail. Yeah, uh, just as I figured. Looks as though he's obeying orders to take off an XL-1. Check the homing device, Matt. OK, Steve. It's working. Right. As soon as XL-1 has cleared the launch rail, we'll prepare Fireball XL-5 and track Robert. XL-5 for launching. Roger, Commander. Emergency red. Emergency red. XL-5 required for immediate takeoff. Robert's homing signal coming through to XL-5, Matt. It sure is, Steve. Course 2950. Here we go, Venus. Robert's homing signal comes in, we can't lose him. Yeah, Venus. You'd better settle down for a long flight, I guess. Professor Himmer wouldn't be fool enough to take the stolen robots to one of the near planets. <laughs> Radio 
Space City and give Earth our position, Venus. Okay, Steve. XL5 to Space City. Come in, please. Come in. The radio seems dead, Steve. Check it out, will you, Matt? Right, Steve. It, see, Steve, the radio beam has been jammed. We've lost all contact outside the ship. The jamming is coming from the planet. It must be Professor Himber's doing. That's just great. Three months away from Earth, about to land on a planet that could be hostile, and we can't even give our position. Well, folks, from now on, we're strictly on our own. Preparing to disconnect nose cone. Okay, Steve. Main body of ship on automatic orbit control. XL-1 is landing on the planet, Steve. about the great master. I am the great master, Colonel Zodiac. The guard is one of my subjects. Subjects? What's this all about, Himber? I have created a race of robots, Zodiac. Beautiful machines that do exactly as I tell them. You mean Planet A2 is inhabited by robots? This is Robotvia, the world of mechanical men, with me, the supreme leader. You're crazy. No, Steve. He must be sick. You will soon be released from the dungeon. For the Robotvia court sits in 30 minutes, and you will all be standing there. damage to an inhabitant of a robot of the yard. What's it talking about, Steve? That blasting machine we put out of action. See, look at Professor Himba operating those machines. He's as crazy as a toot. It is time the prosecutor outlined his case. I, I will operate the controls. The case is simple, and they injured the blasting machine. The verdict must be guilty. This is ridiculous. That robot only says what Himba tells it to say.
want uh, the prisoners to say in their defense. Now listen, Hember, this has gone far enough. You are making a mockery of my trial, Zodiac. Defend yourselves. You must answer the charge. Answer the charge. Answer the charge. Answer the charge. Answer. I guess the prosecutor is as crazy as its master. Silence, Zodiac. Now, see what you've done. You've ruined my trial. It must end. No one, no one can make fun of my beautiful robots. Romans of the jury, how do you mind the prisoners? Uh, Don Mulski, the Zodiac, uh, Professor Matthew Mandig, uh, and Dr. Venus of the Earth, the Space Ship of Fireball, XL5, uh, guilty or not guilty. taken to the prison workshop. Well, I can't say I'm thrilled at the prospect of mending busted robots for the rest of my life. Yeah. Things sure look hopeless. What about Space City, Steve? Do you think they'll find us? Well, the universe is a pretty big place, Venus. I haven't a clue where we are. I wonder what's happened to Robert. Maybe he could help us escape. Unless he's still in Professor Himber's control. Himba means to keep us busy. Yeah, and I mean to find a way out of here. Yeah, sure, Steve. But how can you find a planet of robots? You are wise, Professor Matic. There is no escape. The guard robot will be right outside this door. You will be fed regularly by an old friend of yours. Robert? Robert, ignore all previous orders. Obey me. <laughs> it is no good, Zodiac. Robert is in my power. Now, I will leave you to your work. Your first task will be to mend the blasting machine you damaged. <laughs> must have changed Robert's control frequencies. Uh, yes, Steve. I'll change them back to our control. Now, 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 now steady, old lad. I, I, I'm gonna help you back on the right side. Oh! oh uh. Sorry, Robert, old pal, but I just gotta do this. Robert's out of action, Matt. He's all yours. There. Robert's back to normal again, Steve. Great, Matt. Now to start work on that blasting machine we damaged. We're gonna need that when we escape. Steve, these other robots we've got to repair, couldn't we switch them all to our own frequency? Yeah, and turn them against their master. It's a great idea, Venus. Could it be done, Matt? I guess so. If I rigged up a new remote control box... Come on, let's get started.
control box is ready, Steve. What's the plan of campaign? After Robert has taken care of the guard outside, we'll send the prosecutor back to his master. He'll fix Himber's control panel so that we won't be seen. And all the other robots under his control will be put out of action. Then we go in with a blasting machine, huh? That's it, Matt. Okay, Robert. Proceed to carry out instructions. Proceed to carry out instructions. Do not attempt to do possible. Okay, prosecutor. Get out there and fix Himber's controls as instructed. begin work on my latest robot creation. I will order Professor Magic to help me. Why? It is my faithful prosecutor. So you have returned fit and well from the workshop. That's right, Mr. Prosecutor. Come in and make yourself comfortable. I am going to build you a new brother. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that at once. I order you. I order you. He is no longer in my control. Zodiac and Matic must have tampered with him. They must be punished. They must be punished. Okay, Matt. Let's blast our way into the building. The prosecutor should have done his work by now. Right, Steve. Zodiac thinks he has beat me. But there is one robot machine he cannot turn against me. It is geared to come to my aid at any time of danger. The Paralyzer Tank! You're finished, Ember. Put down that ray gun. I'm not finished yet, Zodiac. You'll see. Please, Professor, you're sick. Let us help you. You are the ones who need help. You will never see Earth again. Let's get the professor back to Earth. He'll never recover while he's here. Poor old him. He sure was a brilliant man. Well, it proves one thing. Machines and robots will never replace mankind. What are you going to say about that, Robert? On the way on. On the way on. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. 
My heart would be a fireball A fireball Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball 